Hi, this is Dorothy Kelty again. My YouTube is at D-A-K-I-E-L-T-Y. And this is the second video where I am playing with some of the printables from Paulette Slater. Paulette has a Facebook group, Printables for Your Junk Journaling with TLC, and a coffee page, TLC Creates Vintage Junk Journal Printables. That's an S at the end of that, that's not there. Um, I will link it below the video. But what I wanted to show you is what I'm doing. Now, one of the things that she offers every month, or a lot of the months, is a club where you get emails um, two or three times a day with images and stuff that you can download. And this month, um, little by little, we're getting this blue spring kit, which I really thought was pretty. Now, the reason that these are... A golden half is because these are going to be the pages inside a little envelope flip journal I'm going to make. So those are re ready to go. Let me go ahead and continue flipping through them so you can just kind of see. Um, really pretty images. Um, the owl and the um, they had a, a rooster. Upside down bird. There we go, that's better. And I have to remember to double check these before I actually sew them in. But lots of journaling um, room on these pages along with these beautiful images. Now what I'm going to do is I have this envelope flip. Um, these are mostly new envelopes, some older ones that I've put together here. And then um, the stack up like this. And then this is going to open up, and we'll put these pages in here after I finish decorating. When you're making an envelope flip like this, one of the things that's important is to make sure there's a little bit of room here on it so that you have room for things to fold up. Um, in this one, this paper, after I started putting it on, um, I didn't finish creasing it. But... As you can see, it's it's quite a pretty, uh, it'll be quite pretty when it's finished, when we put them together. Okay, now what I wanna do is start at this point here and use some pages to, uh, to decorate this book. So what I'm gonna do here, this page right here, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to start here, where next to where this comes, and then it'll come over, and it'll fold around this page. And then this can be a tuck spot, or depending on how I glue it down or connect things to it. Before I do that, because I want this to cover up whatever goes over this page, we'll start by uh, covering up this envelope. So if you take take a relatively actually I'm going to use this one and now I'm going to with my great measuring here um, I may trim this down but I want it to be close to start. Okay, This is going to wrap This is going to wrap from this page, and then we'll fold over this and overlap here just slightly. Now this uh, envelope, I'm gonna slit across the top so it'll be a tuck spot from the top. Okay, I'm just gonna take and tear this about where I folded it. Tearing bad for one week, just try it on the other. Okay, so I just want to overlap this a little bit here. Again, I want to make sure it's going to go into the crease 
here. Okay, and it'll wrap around here and go on the other side. So the way I'm gonna start this is by taking my glue and putting it on this page. When I, I actually put these envelopes together several months ago and uh, I can see that I didn't do a really great job of putting this um, page down that I did to sort of, to close it in. This is, you can see that by the, the uh, places here and everything. So we're going to do our best to get this folded in and real crisp in that fold. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to fold this over it, okay? And then we'll take and put this down. I have a phone folder someplace. I thought it was in the cup where I keep it, but I'm not seeing it. So, okay, so now this will fold over this folder like this, and then it'll, it just needs to go inside this little bit. Now this one here, you look at, we don't need this full strip to go over. We just want enough to go underneath the pages so that we don't have white gaps. Now if you do end up with white gaps, it's no problem to just ink them up. Uh, especially if you've got, in this case, some blue ink to go. So here we go. We'll go over this, we'll go over this a little bit, over here. And you can see when I, when I glued that other page, I was not being careful with this. But when we're finished, it is going to be fine. Move this over a little bit. Okay, so now we'll come over here. Yeah. Seal it down here. Okay. Now we're going to fold this back again. So I'm getting quite a few uh, bits of paper here. But um, we'll train it really well to fold where we want it to fold and to stay glued, okay? So there we go, that's gonna be nice now. So now we can take this one when I do this, I'm gonna keep this envelope opening and this will be a tuck spot inside where our pages are gonna go, okay? So now for this, we're gonna start with this. This is a tiny bit smaller than the envelope, the biggest envelope in the bottom. So we'll use some lace or some washi tape um, or something to trim that up once I figure out what I want to do with it. Uh, so what we're going to do again is put the glue here. Keep it just a tiny bit inside this. And we're going all around this this flap. This flap will be we'll fold it over and then it'll be trimmed down so that it'll match and and be real pretty. This is Fabric Tac glue that I've put in into a Sugar Bell icing bottle. Okay. Now we need to kind of be careful and get this in right okay so we want it to be straight here
okay? And now, we fold this back. As you can see, this is, this is not gonna reach all the way to the edge, but it'll lead most of the way over this. And um, again, depending on what we do, we may tuck something in here to come over or uh, have put the ma matching lace here. But meanwhile, we're going to take this and we're gonna go along the edge of the envelope. Not sure you can see where this envelope comes, but I'm putting the glue right along the edge of the envelope. I'll put some in the middle. Okay. And we can fold that over. Now I am just gonna trim this here uh, to to go where it is and kind of feel. It. Or it could stay the way it is, uh, a straight flap if that's what we decided we wanted to do. Okay. Now we have this envelope. Um, this envelope will come up around here and then this will come over here. And as you can see, this is just a used envelope. Um, it's not a, a brand new one. Let's go ahead and trim this off. Okay. And we will be, we'll trim this off when we're ready to do that. So, okay, this one's gonna come over here. Now, we wanna make a decision on this, with this envelope. Do we want it to open here and be a tuck spot? One thing I have noticed with these, these envelopes here, if you uh, leave them like this, it sometimes does get a little hard to get all of the, um, to get the things inside there. It starts getting busy when this gets matter, because it does. So what I like to do a lot of times will be to put it over here and then cut this side open. Uh, I think this blue looks kind of nice here, so I'm not gonna worry about covering it. I'm just going to cover this spot right here. However, once again, we've got a small envelope here that we want to um, cover up the inside. So, and again, uh, on this one, this is kind of a pretty envelope. I may decide just to decorate this and leave this flower and this on it. Or not, we'll see. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna start with this. By putting our paper here and overlapping here a little bit, what we're gonna have done is closed off this window so then we can cut it open here or here and um, or even just cut the way the front and make a tuck spot. But so let's start with doing that. So once again, I'm gonna pick some paper. Now if, you know, you can use a, a pretty plain one. You don't have to use like this towel. It would be much too big for this. But if we just took and used this page, and this is a pretty page, um, along here, again, we'll overlap this a little bit, and then we can put something on this, a pocket or um, something else, maybe just to decorate it. So here, once again, oops, right there, and we'll take and tear this page. I love these strips, they can, be used for so many things later. And we get ready to do it, okay? So once again, we're gonna start over on this page, overlapping this page a little bit, and then decide if we wanna go around. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold this page in because I want it to have a ready-made crease. Here where it's going to go up on here. Um, 
And then I'm going to take this and you want to be really careful not to glue on the back of this envelope. You're just going to go around the edge here of where the envelope shows. Otherwise, if you put glue on this part here, you'll be closing the envelope off. Okay? I have other videos where I made these envelope stacks. I actually really enjoy them. So, I made quite a few of them. I think they make a nice small gift to give to somebody or um, maybe somebody who's not that sure if they want to be into junk journals, they can uh, give it a little bit of try. Um, I want to make sure this writing is the right side up. Again, I'm going to go down. Okay. And now... We will glue on here. Okay, let's fold this up and then it's going to fold over like that. Okay, um, on this one, what do I want to do? If I fold this over, I think I'm going to fold it over. And then this will wrap around the back a little bit. Now, I'll probably put a sheet of paper over the back to cover it up in case this ends up being kind of a standalone journal. But this could be uh, just glued right onto your journal like this. Gl glued right in and then you'd have or on the cover. Um, that would be really pretty. Oops. Okay, let's go ahead and put some glue on here. Now, especially when you have raw edges, you know, like I'm just trimming the top of this and not tucking it in or folding it over or anything. Um, I'll show you, I'm gonna show you a trick in just a little bit to help smooth and soften those edges. Okay, let's take this again. There's no strip too small to use, either in clusters or we can use them, you know, decorating tags that we put in, all kinds of things that those strips can be used for, which is why I have so many scraps, of course. Okay, I'm pushing this down really hard because this is going to take some, you know, stress as it opens, all these flaps will. Um, then we're gonna do it. So if you take, you can take sandpaper, a little piece of sandpaper, you can take an emery board, you can take um, a sanding block, I'm sure is in a safe place. And see if that you go here, it's going to kind of move right where the fold is. Okay, so you can see where the fold is because the sanding is, is showing it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and sand this off. So this distresses the edges. It softens the edges of the paper a little bit. And what happens with that is that it really takes the ink well. So if you come back and ink the edges of these to distress them a little bit, it's going to absorb where this is done very nicely. Okay, that one's off. I'm going to go on this side. This could have been um, folded or, or trimmed closer, but the sandpaper just goes right along the edge and takes it off. Now the other thing is if you notice that things are not glued maybe as well as you want along the edge, you can open this up and put some glue in on it. This seems to be fine. Okay, so now we have this page 
and this inside page. This is going to go, and once again, you want to be really careful, you know, how it's folding and what it's doing. Okay, all the time. Okay, so we have this, and I think I want to take... Think about this. Yeah, I think I'll take a place. A place. This time, because I do like these lines and I want to use them, I'm going to take this to this point. Now look at this. I have a nice line to use. Isn't that nice? So if it gets a little bit farther over to the right when I'm gluing and gets over this line a little bit. I'm kind of okay with that. Or with the white line there. So, I'm going to try and line it up with this. Let's see how that's going to work. I think that's going to work pretty well. Now, if you're worried about getting glue all over things, one of the things that you can do is take some wax paper, or you could probably use a book page or something, but I have a ton of wax paper. So by putting the wax paper underneath this, like that, I can glue it and not have to worry about the wax, the glue getting everywhere. Let's see. No, I'm going to trim this up just a tiny bit. Okay, so we'll put that right at this point. There, there. Now I've got that tiny bit of a blue line showing. Okay, so here we go with the. We go along this blue line. And if you're worried about, you know, what you're doing here um, with this, you can smush it a little bit closer out to the edge to get it or so that you don't have these lines, especially if you're putting cloth over it and you're worried about it coming through, that can be a, a good trick to use. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at lines more or less lined up. I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. And I'm not sure I even like it. We'll see what I do about that later. Okay. All right. Now. I'm going to go ahead and glue this up. And again, I don't want to get the glue I don't want to get the glue onto this envelope on the back of it, okay? Onto this flap. I want to be able to have a pocket there that works. Okay, so now we have this paper. We can go from the bottom this time up. Where if I took it? over this. Let me think about that. This is where it's going to go. Okay, nope, I want it to go here. I want this bottom to show. I'm going to cut it Cut it right below this line here, just barely below it, because again, I can sand it off if it's not quite right. Okay, so we'll put this here and 
I will let them overlap this. Now, because I'm letting it overlap this, um, I will want to put something on here to decorate it a little bit. Let me see if I want it. This, this line straight, so we have a straight line there. Okay? So, I will be gluing this first on here, going around the envelope, the edge of the envelope here, okay, we'll go up there a little bit too, okay, and then we're going to go right along here, oh boy, oh boy, if I was worried about these lines being straight there, I would just take a piece of wax paper and put it along it to help reinforce it. Okay. Now we're going to put this paper where we want it here. So another thing that you can do to reinforce the Scenes where, where these fold and everything is to use either washi tape or fabric. Fabric works very well for that because it's more flexible. Now, you can see this is how I ended up with a fold on the other one, I'm sure. Um, let me try and. Alright, I'm going to. And put the glue on this flap this time. Okay, let's put this down. And put this down. And now we're just putting them together. Okay, and the other side of this. So this one, I think what we're going to do is open it up here. And so this will be a, stuck, um, a tuck going this way. Just trim this off right here. Okay. So now we have this one, this one, and this one. Okay. All using the matching paper, so all very pretty. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can do on here. We can put another fold out if we wanted to, or um, make a tag that comes out. There's a lot of things we can do with this, and I'm going to have to think about it to decide what it is that I want to do. Okay, so now we've got this and this. We've got this. We don't have this page or this page, and we don't have the back yet. Okay, so this page here, this is going to be the, um, the actual journal itself. And so I don't, I'm not going to worry about um, cutting it open or having pockets because I want the reinforcement that comes with having these pages. I think what I'm going to do, again, this largest envelope, um, the papers do not quite fit. Now, I could go around underneath here and put something, but I think I'm going to wait and um, put something around the, uh, around the edges. I may sew along around the edges of some of this. And I do like that look. I may put lace around it. A um, lot of ideas, and I'm going to be doing this in a couple of of uh, different sets. I don't want it all done at once. Okay, so once again, here we are. We're going along the edge of this envelope. Okay, I cut this away, which you saw me do a little bit ago, because I thought I was going to use it for to uh, for a tuck spot, but I don't think I want to do that. So. I am allowed to change my mind, okay? But we'll still, we'll put this in. Lots of glue on here. 
keeping to the edge of this envelope. Um, if that way, if I decide later on that I want to come back and and make a tuck spot there, it'll be set up so that I can do that. And if I don't want to do it, then that's fine too. It gives me more flexibility that way. Okay. So there we go. More on top than the bottom. Oh well. Okay, now we're going to um, glue this page down. So once again, when I get ready to put this together, I may um, add pockets in the, inside this. I may um, tuck spots, belly bands, you know, some other something. Uh, to make it more versatile, or I may just leave it the way it is. Part of it is going to depend on what I decide I want to do as far as how stuffful is going to be. Okay, now in the end, we'll be attaching something here to, to wrap around or to hold it together. Could be, you know, maybe we'll just use a magnet right here. Um, maybe we'll use a tie or put a bow around it. All those are uh, options as we go forward. Okay, now the only page I have left to do is this back page. And I have one more page here. This, because of the way this is, I actually can take it and have it cover up the whole thing. Um, put it this way, because this design really can go either way, I think. So, let's start by putting this right along the edge here. things I like about fabric effects is it does give you a little bit of time to straighten things if you need to. Okay, here we go. Now one of the things that I really like to do is to put lace around the edges here. So I may very well come back and do that and that again helps reinforce the edge also helps make it look prettier. Okay. And even though I cut it, we can go through with the sandpaper and rough this up a little bit, smooth the edges, and then we'll be able to add ink or whatever we want to do to that. Okay, that's how you put the envelope flip folio together, and that's going to be enough for today. Thank you for watching.